Angela Langlotz, trademark and business law attorney here, coming at you with some more trademark information. Doing a case study today about Terminix. You've probably heard of them. They do pest control. So if you have, I don't know, silverfish or cockroaches or ants or termites or anything like that bugging you at home or at the office, I guess you would call them, and they would come out and spray your house. Where do I get these wacky ideas? Well, I was watching television. I, I don't even have television at my house, but I was, I was at a friend's house and uh, we were downstairs in the lobby area of this apartment building and we were watching uh, CNN and they had this commercial about Terminix and then they had this tagline, Defenders of Home. So I started asking myself, huh, I wonder if they've got that registered as a trademark and uh, I wonder if I should use that as a sort of case study. As it turns out, yes, they actually do have an application in. I'm gonna go into that in a minute. But why did I like Terminix? Well, I like Terminix because it's one of those very suggestive marks that I talked about a couple weeks ago. I talked about them several times, but I like suggestive marks because they give the consumer an idea about the qualities or, um, you know, what the service is about. So Terminix, what do I think of when I think of Terminix? Well, I kind of think termites, right? Because termites are bugs. I kind of think Nix, like Nix, get rid of it. Uh, term, termin, I think of terminate, like get rid of. Nix, I think, I don't know. I think Nix is like a little bit like nits, which are little um, baby bug eggs. Um, so I think of nits and nicks and um, yeah, I know it's not really very pleasant, but it actually does make for a good case study. So when I think of Terminix, I think of getting rid of something, terminating it, nixing it, knocking it out, which is what, it, what you want to do when you have bugs in your house because they're just kind of gross and you don't want to live with them, right? So Terminix, of course, has a registered trademark for the word Terminix, for pest control services. And then I got to thinking, well, um, they're using this tagline, what was it again? Defenders of home, which sounds like, you know, they're coming in with the, the pest control wand ready to do battle against those nasty bugs on your behalf. <laughs> so I kind of liked that too. But let me just show you here that they actually do have a, uh, an application in well, let me see here. I need to zoom out a little bit. Be able to show y'all what I'm doing. Um, they actually do have a trademark applied for. For um, let me just see what else is going on here. I'm trying to make a better job. Oh, you don't need to see me, do you? Crop to fill. Here we go. So they actually do have a registration in for Defenders of Home. Uh, let me move this around here and scroll down. They filed it last December. It's actually issued fairly quickly, which is a little bit unusual. You can see here, let me move this out of the way too. Why not? I'll just move everything. Okay, so you can see right here um, that they have, here, now you can see my, my cursor. It was filed December 15th of last year and it's being published for opposition next month, May 15th. What does published for opposition mean? Well, when something is published for opposition, it means that everybody else gets to come in and have the opportunity to object to the mark, right? So the fact that it's being published for opposition means a couple things. It means, first of all, that the trademark examiner didn't find any competing marks that they were concerned about. Um, so as far as the trademark examiner is concerned, let me put me back in here. As far as the trademark examiner is concerned, uh, you know, she doesn't, she or he doesn't see any reason why this mark can't issue, but we want to give everyone else a chance to object as well. So that's why it's being published for opposition. Anyway, that's all I have for today. I just, I like to give case studies because they illustrate certain points about certain marks. And see me again tomorrow and I'll talk more about trademark law. You can find me online at trademarkdoctor.net. 
You can find me on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash trademark doctor. And if you leave a comment on this video and ask me a question and then like my page, you'll be notified when I go live and I'll tag you and answer your question. I'll see you all tomorrow.